what's up guys benchmarks here back again with another video and in this video i'm going to show you guys on how you can create a roleplay server cubicle based on your windows computer or even the windows vps or whatever system you're using or just for testing the server on your own computer so let's get started so first of all you need to open your browser and download champ so with champ you will be able to create database that you will need for roleplay server and just go here and click on Zamp for Windows. I'll put all the li link on the uh, in the description of this video, so do not worry about it. So once you click on it, it will automatically download it for you. I have already downloaded, so I am not gonna download it again. So once you are you have downloaded it, just open it, and it will ask for your installation procedure on your computer. Just click on yes, and you can just close this guys. Okay, just click on OK, just click on Next. And here you can uncheck a lot of things that you don't need. So we don't really need FileZilla, Mercury, and Tomcat. Uh, this programming language, we just need PHP, MyAdmin, and MySQL. And you can just clear, cancel out all of all things. And just click on Next, click on Next, 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 and let it, let it install everything up. So until it's installed, let's go into the 5win.net. Um, let's go here and click on create your own server, host your own server, and click on setting up a server using TX Admin. So on this uh, on this video, we'll be using TX Admin because it, it's really easier to control your server using TX Admin. So we'll be using that. So once you're here, just click on Windows Server Build Listing. And you can download the latest recommended or even the latest option, but it's always recommended to download the latest recommended. By the way, the both are same version right now. So just click on latest recommended and it will download it for you as well. But I already downloaded it at, uh, already, so you don't need to download it again. Uh, you can use WinRAR or WinZip, whatever software you want to use to unzip it. Doesn't really matter, just extract anywhere you want. I'll be extracting it to the desktop. So it's easier for me to configure. I'm just going to name it YouTube server. And in the future, I'm going to install more scripts on the, on the server. So it's easier for you guys to uh, review all the videos. And and maybe I'm, I'm, uh, it's, all, uh, it's also really easier for me to make videos on it. So once you have extracted it, you'll see a lot of files. And you just need to open FX server. Just wait until it's, it's uh, installed. Uh, the jump so let's wait uh, it might take some seconds again and in the future I'm gonna make more videos on this uh, server uh, creation like uh, more QB based QB core based uh, scripts or maybe more just uh, click on allow access and you can also comment on what uh, what videos you want to see and what uh, like installation process or even some script installation if you want to have more idea or if you want to know more about things just click on finish and it will open a control panel for you and well you just don't need to do anything just click on start and mysql that's it you don't need to do anything at all now okay uh you can now access your local host Yes, you might have been. Okay. Okay, this is your uh, database thing. Okay, once you're here, um, what you need, what we need to do right now is just go back to the um, extracted file of the Vibem and just go here and double click the FX server and it will open prompt and it will uh, it will ask us to link an account but uh, I'm not going to use this browser I'm going to use this browser okay the authentication you can see the authentication code is three three one nine six okay once you have uh, authenticated it you can set uh, any password like this is a backup password when you'll be able to log into this uh, TX admin. Just, just, just put any password you want. 
it doesn't really matter but this is always always a good idea to uh, put some good password that you can uh, use so I also click this way my password and just click on next once this uh, we need to do some setups on the database so once you're here just click a new and we need to create a database okay uh, let's make a database so let's uh, name it uh, RP and just click on uh, create once you have created a RP server The database is now created. Okay. Now go back to the TX admin. Just name anything you want. Just I'm gonna name it YouTube server. And here you can choose any recipes you want. So it's like uh, uh, already a built-in server. So I, I always recommend to use Cubicore, but you can go with the ESX, but I will be making more videos on Cubicore based servers, so I'll recommend you to guys use the Cubicore framework. And I want to change path right now. Text data and Cubicore. Okay, just click on save now. Go to recipe deployer and just review everything if you want to. Just next, it will just download it for you. And here you want to have to get license key for your server. Yeah, you can get your license key from the keymaster.fiveen.net. Uh, to here, uh, to you need to have a cfx.re account uh, to be able to log into the key master. Okay, this one. Uh, you need to go to cfx.re forum. You need to create a create a account here. Once you have done, to sign it to this link, and you'll get you'll see something like this. Okay, uh, so if you are making a new server, just click a new server, whatever you put like display name. So the server address, so if you are using like your own computer, just have your own public IP. You can get the public IP from uh, what's my IP.com, something like that, and just put it here. Just click on anything, like it's like home hosted. If it's like a uh, official server, just put the IP address of the official server or dedicated server, whatever you want you have. Just click on, I'm not a robot agenda, but I already created a, a key, so I'm just not gonna create it again. So I'm gonna open it here. And I'm gonna just regenerate, just so you guys, it's like copy. Once you're here, just uh, copy and paste it here. Now, just click on server to hide database options advanced. So for a database, we are uh, of course gonna be using the localhost because we are creating a server in our own computer. Just click on localhost, the database port is always here. Username is root, if you have like, uh, made a different username like currently we are only using root but if you already create a username for your like a secondary uh, database or something like that username just put it here but right now i haven't did anything so uh if you have a new username just put it there and password if you have change your password or but for now i have i haven't made any accounts or new username for database so for database name i'm just gonna be naming it cubic core but i already made an rp but it's okay to let it make a database for us okay it's always a good idea or you can just name it rp because we already did uh, created a database but it doesn't matter let's let's let it let it make its new database so And let it do its thing it will download some files for you you can see that files in the desktop right now right here every cubicore files will be pasted here like the cubicore is like a recipe which has every server files that it's like a runnable server but you still need to do some customization or you need to install more scripts to have it like a better rp experience and in the future in the future videos i'm gonna be doing the same thing like installing more scripts which are needed which are recommended uh, for a role play server and if you guys need any helps or if you are stuck in doing any any works like in, in server works just let me down know in the comment section below and i'll be happy to help you guys 
and just let it do its downloadation and I'm gonna be pausing the video for now and I'll be back once it's done as you can see uh, welcome back guys as you can see the download is completed so as you can see it's deploy finished and folder validated all done so just go back and click on next and as you can see uh, you'll be able to see all the files here okay so just don't worry and if you need to uh, like uh, configure the server see as you can do here in the step so like in the name and stuff but I don't think you need to do it right now because you can do it uh, uh, afterwards as well just save and run the server right now and uh, server license key the keys to the key does not exist okay let's see the key should be there okay Mm, say file restart server don't worry guys it's just uh, an error for me it might not be for you uh -huh. I don't know why it's not working uh, copy now so, I think, as you can see uh, it was just an error with the uh, it may be the error for you if you have like error just reach in this copy here and the save and reach the server okay so as you can see uh, you will be able to Show, but our server is ready. You can join the server. You can play on it. You can do what you want. It's it's it's, it's all up to the server. But mm, uh, let's minimize it. Mm. So guys, now you can join the server and just check it. Mm. So just open your 5M, and once you have opened your 5M, uh, let's close this one, and you can connect to your local server using for FA. Just type in connect local. There's no uh, file for you. Let's click on OK and just wait. As you can see the name of the service you did through so you can do whatever you want. You can change the icon. So you have everything from changing loading screen, changing icon, putting in more stuff in the server. So, so if it asks for uh, more content, just click on the thing for you. So it's just like instant. It's, it doesn't it take any, any, any time. So uh, TX admin on the web browser. Uh, so it's always a good idea to have a dedicated server, and I will show you chat hosting in the video. I also give you a coupon code to use and get a 20% discount. So chat hosting will uh, make everything easier for you guys to automate everything on your server, so you don't have to do all the hassle like this. So on chat hosting, you can just uh, create a server. And you don't need to do any customization at all. Uh, so creating all the sources. So because it first time loading, so it might take it might take a, a some time. So using I mean it's it's a lot easier to uh, configure a server, change a lot of things, uh, make admins or remove admins instead of things like that
Panic local host. And as you can see, it's now connecting to our server. It might uh, download some server files, like QB subs. And the keyboard uh, by default comes with a default loading screen. You can change it afterwards. Okay, you can I'll also be showing you and how you can change the loading screen, uh, installing more scripts on the server. Stay tuned for more videos, guys. Be sure to like the video, be sure to subscribe and comment down below on what you want to see next. And I'll be happy to help and help you to make more videos on it. So just wait until it's loaded because it's loading the game for the first time and it might take some time. So just patience, guys. We just need to have some patience and it's now downloading and stop the server. As you can see you can hear the noise of the server. The game I mean. So okay. As you can see, it's now validating uh for characters. As you can see this is uh multi characters server. So you can just choose multi character, just click on create character, just put any name you want, like Let's say I would call him Kaki Chan. And that's related to anything you want. I'm just going to do USA, uh, United States, gender male, the birth date to 1998. You may just put it any random number if you want. It does, doesn't matter because the birth date. And you can choose the. It comes with a QB apartment script as well, so it's it's good to use QB core because it comes with a, a lot of things default, so you don't have to do anything at all. And now, as you can see, you can create a um, custom your character. Uh, character. Just gonna do some minor changes. our apartment guys uh, I'll also be in, uh, making more videos on how you can That's it for the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I'll be making more uh, content on the server, just thank you for it, I'm also gonna be installing a lot of scripts on this YouTube server, so it helps you guys a lot, so thank you for watching the video guys, I hope you guys like the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell, so you'll be notified every time I'll upload uh, a video, so yeah, thank you for watching the video guys, it's Ben Fox here, signing out.